Okay, so let's take a quick look inside of a Weller soldering gun. This is one of the lower end, and I don't mean that in quality, I mean that in wattage rating. Lower end Weller guns, the 100-140. I believe they also made them in like a higher 200, 300, and a like a 350, maybe 380. But this is, I believe, the lowest wattage you could get in a gun. And basically, all that's inside of here is a two-selection momentary switch and a transformer. So, like I said, and this is a very interesting design. Very intelligent, very efficient design on this. And you can look this up, but basically what this is is a shim stock iron core or steel core that is rolled around a primary I don't know this is a pretty small wire probably in a high 20 or low 30 gauge around a very thick secondary pretty much made out of a little piece of pipe and what this thin secondary, excuse me, thin primary and thick secondary does is it induces a low voltage at a high amperage which causes the tip to heat up very rapidly. And this is a gun from the 70s and you can tell that based on the wedge type of bulb. If you've never seen a wedge type of bulb, these are very commonly used in automotive applications as well as others but automotive is the best I can think of at this time you can tell that you have a gun from the 60s or earlier if it has a screw type base bulb you guys think I can do this one-handed oh yeah I totally can but I just wanted to show that if nobody's ever seen one or taken their own apart two selection momentary switch rolled steel shim stock iron core you have a very thick secondary pretty much made out of I would believe that this is nickel and not chrome based on its heat resistance secondary very thick and a very thin primary winding to induce a high amperage low voltage on the secondary because you can touch that you can even lick your fingers it's not going to shock you you're not going to be able to feel it but the amperage is high enough that the tip will heat very quickly so that you can solder if you have any comments or questions about this or anything to add i would appreciate that you mention it what i neglected to mention is why the tip heats up very rapidly and quickly and it's because this tip which is about um, I believe maybe 14 16 14 or 12 gauge I can't remember I make my own tips I don't remember what the gauge is but the tip is of a much higher resistance than this nickel plated copper tubing so this will heat up much quicker than the rest of the secondary and that's what enables you to solder and also real quick if you were not sure or did not know the two taps on this dual momentary switch are for the two taps on the primary winding which will induce either the 100 or 140 watt heat rating here are two of my larger soldering guns this is one that I use for heavy duty chassis soldering operations and it was Glass Slinger which is another YouTube channel that recommended this small bent tip for heavy duty chassis soldering operations it's quite effective uh, if you can't spell Glass Slinger I can't help you you know you should be able to look that up on your own but these are my larger guns and they're in the 240 325 watt range I've used this one for chassis soldering with the little shrimpy tip and I've used this one with its actual thick tip for light metal working applications and it's worked quite well 
you can tell that this is the one from the 60s based on the script insignia or logo if you will and this is one from the 70s with the you know text type font type non-script logo